Hi, my name is Liz Cowgill. I am going to be the sixth grade school counselor at John Adams Middle School for the school year 2024-2025. And welcome to all the fifth grade parents who are viewing this video. What I'd like to do in this video is to go over uh, the classes your child will take next school year and also the schedule at John Adams Middle School. So let's just get into it. Okay, so there's two different types of classes that children can take at John Adams, well actually at any school in the United States of America, there are required classes and elective classes. I'd like to tell all my fifth graders that required classes are the classes you have to take because I said so. <laughs> um, they are humanities, math, science, and PE. Humanities may be an unfamiliar name of a class, but it's not unfamiliar to your students because they take it right now as fifth graders. Humanities is a combination class of English language arts and social studies. So because it's two subjects, it's actually two periods long. So during the school day at John Adams, it would either be first and second, third and fourth, or fifth and sixth. Um, so those are the required classes. Humanities is the study of ancient civilizations, uh, world religions, and history plus English language arts, um, and then your other classes, math, science, and PE. Okay, elective classes. So as your uh, child is getting older, they have more autonomy and more uh, voice over what their educational program looks like. And it all starts in the sixth grade with getting to choose the elective class they wanna take. I always tell the kids what's the root word of elective is to elect, which means to choose and select what they want to take. So we have um, some offerings for uh, sixth graders. Sixth graders are allowed to choose one elective class, only one. They may choose one elective class. So the elective classes that sixth graders can choose from are music classes, vocal music classes, and two non-music classes. So let's get into it. There's orchestra, which is a violin, viola, cello, or bass, where you drag a bow across a string. There's no guitar, no banjo, no ukulele. Uh, there's also band, which is anything you blow in or beat on. So that's percussion, drums, and anything from the flute to the tuba. Uh, there's choir and choir, you sing. There's engineering, which is project-based learning, and there's exploratory. I tell the kids in exploratory, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So in exploratory, you do one semester of engineering and then one semester of art. Though some kids will do one semester of art first and then one semester of engineering. So those are the elective classes that children can choose from. I've been going in and visiting all the fifth grade classes and in order to find how to sign up for the elective class, you would go um, into your child's SMM K-12 account, into your child's teacher's Google Classroom. There is a Google form that children can access and they can uh, choose which class they want. I'll be asking for what is your child's first elective choice, the choice they really, really, really want. And then I'm gonna ask them for, well, what's your second elective choice? In case they don't get their first, what's your second elective choice? And then I'm even asking for a third elective choice. Um, in case they don't get their first choice or their second, what is their backups, backup choice? Though I do have to be honest with you, Children who sign up for music are guaranteed to receive it because there are limited seat, uh, limitless seats in music classes, whereas the uh, engineering and exploratory, those are limited seats, which is why I always ask for a second choice and a third choice. Okay, let's take a look at the schedule. Uh, we are changing our schedule at John Adams Middle School. We've been going from a traditional block schedule um, uh, master schedule to uh, kind of a hybrid schedule where we have three days a week of every single class and then uh, two days a week of block scheduling. So let's take a look at it. 
Next year, our schedule, on Mondays and Tuesdays, children will go to every single class, uh, and school starts at 9 o'clock. So you'll see that in this schedule it says AM period. That's for children who have a specialty program, meaning Edison Elementary School. Uh, they are a dual language immersion program and children participating in that, many of them will be taking an AM class. But for all my families from Will Rogers Elementary and from Grant Elementary, their day will start at 9 o'clock. So 9 o'clock, they'll start, they'll go to their first period class, their second period class. They'll go to a break called nutrition. I always tell the kids, don't call it recess. Nutrition is about 15 minutes long about and um, it's just enough time to use the restroom get something to eat see some friends before you move on to your third period class then fourth period then there's a lunch break um, sixth and seventh graders have the same lunch eighth graders have their own exclusive lunch uh, and then uh, after lunch sixth and seventh graders go to a class called advisory Advisory is a time in the day where children do math enrichment and they also can work on uh, any work that um, they would like to finish during the school day so they don't have to do it for homework. Um, it's a really great time. I have some parents ask me, does, do my, does my child have any homework? And if they are making really good grades, I usually tell the parent they must be utilizing advisory very well. They must be getting through their math enrichment, which is called Dreambox, and then they're probably finishing their work up in the remaining time. So that's advisory. And then they go to fifth and sixth period. Okay, so on Monday and Tuesday, the school day ends at 315. And then it all changes on Wednesday and Thursday. So on Wednesday and Thursday, the start time is still 9. But you only go to three classes. The children only go to three classes on Wednesday and Thursday. So on Wednesday, the children go to their odd-numbered classes. First period, third period, and fifth period. So I always tell the kids, well, if they go to 135 on Wednesday, what do you do on Thursday? And all the kids immediately say 246, second period, fourth period, and sixth period. Block scheduling time with this hybrid schedule really allows the teacher to go more in depth because they have more time with the students in their classrooms. So you can see, uh, depending on the day, the children will either either start off in first period, which would be on Wednesdays, or if it's Thursday, they'll start the day in second period. Then they'll go to their nutrition. Then the second class of the day will either be third period or fourth period. Then they'll hit their advisory, and then they'll go to their last class of the day, which depending on the day, Wednesdays will be fifth period, Thursdays will be sixth period. And then my face is covering, I don't know how to, I'm kind of new to this whole PowerPoint recording thing, so <laughs> my face is like covering uh, the, the, class, the classes. But you can see that on Friday, every single kid will start at 9.35. That's gonna be our late start. And we're, the children do not go to advisory on Friday because on Friday, the release time is at 2.50 and on Wednesday and Thursday, the release time is at 2.55. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little different than it has been before, but that basically is our schedule. So that was a lot of information to process required classes, elective classes, the schedule, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you have any additional questions, please email me. This is my email. It's lcowgill at smmusd.org. Uh, please email me any questions you have. I always try to get back to parents within about 48 hours or less. Um, and if you could, uh, if you do email me, uh, please uh, put your child's name and what school they go to because uh, that'll help me as I'm getting back in touch with you. And uh, hopefully you're going to be able to attend some of the virtual coffee talks, uh, which are over Zoom. 
uh, and information went out before spring break about that. But thank you so much for listening to my video. Hopefully I've been able to clear some things up. And again, if you have any questions, please reach out. And thank you so much. And welcome to John Adams Middle School.